Let's get into main topic number one. And the first main topic today gets submitted to us by Adam V, who writes, Greetings and salutations. Well, greetings, Adam. I know Rob is going nuts waiting for Dune, and so are all of my friends. This little bit that came out isn't helping. According to the art director of the film, this new Dune movie is on the level of Lord of the Rings. My question is, isn't comparing this new movie to one of the greatest series of films of all time a little too ambitious and maybe setting us up for disappointment? Thanks. All right, dude. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And yes, of course, one of the movies, Rob, I know right up there with, you know, uh, James Bond, No Time to Die, Dune and, and the Bond film have got to be, I believe, your two most anticipated films of this year, if we're going to get them this year. Oh, yeah. But Dune, of course, is the one that's gotten a lot of talk. Of course, you got one of the hottest directors in the world in Denis Villeneuve. You've got an incredible cast celebrated source material that has not had the best of luck as of yet. Not the best of luck when it comes to doing its own live action adaptation. Anyway, we talked the other day about how the director has been mentioning he is racing towards the finish line, desperately trying to get this film done on time. Well, now we're hearing a little bit of comments coming out about it. Again, this is from the art director of the film, a guy named Brown who writes, I think what Denis Villeneuve is doing is what's called a seminal version of this story. I don't think it will be topped, to be perfectly honest, Brown said. The sheer scale of it is going to be daunting, but I do think it's going to be extremely special. I heard in the paper the other day that they're looking at the new Lord of the Rings, and I firmly believe that. I think it's going to be up there with those kinds of films, really. The first thing I got to say is... Take these comments with the giant grain of salt that this is coming from somebody involved in the movie. All right. Let's not lose sight of that. Okay. It's coming from somebody involved in the movie. What is he supposed to say? This movie sucks. I mean, so we take that with the grain of salt, but Rob grain of salt or not to have an experienced Hollywood professional like him. Coming out and making the bold thing. Like, we expect everybody who's involved in a movie coming out to say, oh, I think this movie that I have coming out is great. I mean, we expect to hear that from everybody. To have somebody involved in the project come out and say, this is on the level of Lord of the Rings. Normally, my first reaction to that would be, shut the hell up. I mean, come on, Lord of the Rings. But we are talking about one of the most celebrated pieces of literature ever in Dune. We are talking about maybe top two, top three best directors working right now, working today right now in Denis Villeneuve. We have an incredible cast. It's, it's not, to me, the craziest idea that maybe we should pay attention to this. I don't know, but the Rob, the person who's asking the question is right. I mean, high expectations can be a dangerous thing to film fans, right? Because we can go into a movie that in all rights is a pretty good movie. If our expectations are too high going into it, we end up coming out disappointed and sad, even though the movie itself might've been pretty good. Our One of our biggest enemies as fans is high expectations. And this certainly does skyrocket those expectations. Rob, you hear these comments, grain of salt and all that this is somebody who's involved with the movie, but what do you make of his statement? It's a pretty bold statement. Well, I mean, you know, like with Lord of the Rings, the very attempt, if if you're finally making this story with the kind of director that you have and the, the right budget, and now we've got all of the technical wizardry that exists in, in filmmaking today around the world, I, I think that the idea that you're making the, the most seminal version of this movie, it's, Dune has been adapted twice before, once as Lynch's movie and the other as the, the miniseries that was done. But I, I do think that's probably correct that, like, can you can you imagine somebody else making a Lord of the Rings movies? I mean, I can't. You can go do the Second Age, but to go back and try and redo those movies, I think would be folly because look at what you're following. Um, and I think in the case of Dune, it, I, I think the art director could be correct in that this will be the seminal version of the film, and I think it's probably great. The real question is: Are people going to go see it? Mm. And and unlike. 
you know, Lord of the Rings was much more of a family friendly affair. It was what I would call a four quadrant movie. The whole everybody loves Lord of the Rings, young, old, everyone. Dune is a very complex, uh, very intellectual. Yes, it's got action in it, but it's a very thoughtful franchise and it is very heady and it is not. It is not like Star Wars. It is not something that if you're eight years old and you go see Dune, I'm sure certain kids might be blown away by it. But I think others are going to be perplexed and bewildered and not quite understanding everything that's going on. So this is a movie for adults, for adult audiences, and I'm hoping that it catches on because they're only making the first half of the first book. Right. And I think I think that what I'm hoping for is is to me this is exactly the kind of science fiction literary adaptation I live for John I live for this I dream of these kinds of movies but on the other hand are people going to go and I will say this 10 years ago I would have been really dubious but now we've had very we've had game of thrones which is a very adult very politically minded fantasy epic I think the time is right because audiences, we've received some very sophisticated uh, genre entertainment. And I think now, I think audiences are primed. I think audiences are in the best position they could ever be to embrace something like this. So I have high hopes, man. And I, I'm one of those people where my expectations are, they're at spinal tap. They're at 11. <laughs> it's and, 11. Uh, it's, they're up to 11, man. And I hope it's great. I really don't. What do you think? What do you are you excited about this? Oh, I mean, of course. I, I mean, I've been excited since day one. I mean, you know this. I mean, I remember the first time you and I talked about this. Like we were, I think when uh, you know, I think you might have given me a car or something, and we were talking about it. And like, obviously, when you look at who's directing it, that has a lot to do with it, right? Yeah, and you're like, a fan. You're a big Denis Villeneuve fan. I, I am, and I I am actually one of the few fans of the miniseries uh, that they did. I actually got a kick out of the miniseries. Yeah, me too. But, it was very theatrical. Yeah, but there—I mean, there are a lot of directors that I like very much. That if they announce Dune with this person directing, I—I I don't know. He is the guy to direct this. I think, yeah, especially I when you when you take the sensibilities. I mean, I know they seem like very, very different, very different movies. But look at Prisoners. If you know the story of Dune, and then you look at Prisoners, and then you look at Arrival. To the Denis, and you you understand that the guy who made this yeah. and this taking on this source material, it is. I hate saying it's a match made in heaven because I believe you know any movie can be made by any director as long as they're talented and all that kind of stuff. But it really does look like from the very blueprint of this that this is something that God designed for Denis Villeneuve to direct. You know what I mean? It just it just feels like destiny. But I mean, look, you raised a good question about will anybody come to see it. We're not going to know the answer to that until the till the trailers come out. We got to see what their approach to the marketing is going to be. If they, because look, I'm going to tell you right now, I believe they're going to take a, an approach to the marketing on this that I believe some Dune purists may not appreciate, and that's fine. Because remember, the marketing is there to sell the movie. I believe when they come out and market this thing, I believe they're going to take the they are going to highlight the adventure. They're going to highlight the visual effects. They're going to show off the technology. They're going to show off the stars of this movie. They're going to do a lot of that traditional stuff. And if they do it right, they can bring in the mass audience. I don't know if Dune purists are going to appreciate that, which is understandable. But if they can hook people in, Rob, with those first trailers, I think well, we could be in for a big hit. I think one of the things this movie has going for I mean, I, as you know, I read the script and I thought the script was fantastic but one of the things that i think is what i love the most is the portrayal of baron harkonnen that Sk uh, stellan skarsgård plays yep and the way he's written and i i don't even know i i can't even imagine what he's gonna look like because you know he's corpulent disgusting flies around like in lynch's version but the way he's portrayed if all they showed in the trailer <laughs> was stellan skarsgård as baron harkonnen saying his lines ranting and raving I'd be like, oh, I, I got to see that. But then when you think about the rest of the cast, the cast in this movie is insane. Yeah. It has one of the greatest casts ever. And if you just cut to these people saying their lines, I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> you know, I mean, and like you said, I think they are going to do exactly what you said in the trailer. But they also can fall back to all these badass actors just saying shit that's in that script. And you're going to be like, oh, I got to see that.
<laughs> Question is, guys, what do you? Th these are big, big words for the art director to come out and say this. This film is going to be on the level of Lord of the Rings. Uh, them is big words. Do you think they can possibly live up to that? Do they only have to come close? Where's your expectation level right now for Dune? Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.